Hi and welcome back. So let's take a look at my biological age now, 68 months after starting my longevity experiment using the blood test results that I had taken in October of 2024. Let's quickly take a look at the supplements I was taking when I had this blood test taken. 1.5 grams of NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, 1.5 grams of trans resveratrol, and that's on a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday mixed into my yogurt. Trimethylglycine, TMG, 1.5 grams. Metformin, 1,000 milligrams. And that's in two 500 slow-release tablets. And I take those just before my uh, dinner or my evening meal, which is now somewhere between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. 5,000 international units of vitamin D3, 10,000 on a Monday and Wednesday. Vitamin K2, 120 micrograms of the MK7 version. Magnesium, 250 milligrams of the L3 and 8 version. High molecular weight hyaluronic acid, 400 milligrams of that. Fisetin, 2.4 grams. Quercetin, 2.4 grams. And I take this on the first, second and third of each month. And if you want to know about periodic dosing, there's a link in the description below. Baby aspirin, 81 milligrams a day. Cert 6 activator, 800 milligrams a day. DIM. 600 milligrams a day, split into three doses, 200 in the morning, 200 between 11 and 12, and then 200 about 7 o'clock in the evening. Then we've got Glynac, Glycine and NAC, 800 milligrams of that. Creatine, I now take five grams a day, three months on and one month off. And then Omega-3, which is a, a recent addition, I take 800 milligrams of EPA and 600 milligrams of DHA. So this is the first website I use. This is longevityadvantage.com. There's a link in the description below to it. If you click on it, it will take you to this page. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see here, they now ask for 10 specific markers. Fill those markers in. Once you've done that from your blood test, you then click on next step. That will then ask you for your name and email address and they'll email you your results within about two or three minutes. You can see when I took my test last, um, in June of 2024, you can see I was uh, 60 years of age. That's my chronological age. My phenotypic age, and I'll put up what phenotypic age means, was 53.70. My phenotypic age versus my chronological age, that's my birth age, was minus 6.30. So around six and a quarter years younger. My DNA methylation age was 52.89. And my DNA methylation age against my birth age or my chronological age was minus 7.11, so a reduction there in age of just over seven years. Now, I had my test done again, my blood test done again in October. You can see here, chronological age, still 60. My phenotypic age, this time, 53.38. My phenotypic age versus chronological, minus 6.62, so six years and seven months younger. And then my DNA methylation age came back as 52.59. My DNA methylation age against my chronological age came back as minus 7.41, a reduction in years of seven years and five months. So that's it for longevityadvantage.com. Moving on, let's take a look at the other site that I use. This is biologicalage.com. Again, link in the description below. Now, I show this because if you don't have access to blood test results, you can use this questionnaire by clicking on the yellow button. It will ask you a series of questions and it's been updated quite a lot since I've started to use this. Lots more questions now about a different range of lifestyle factors. And when they get to the end, it will then tell you what it believes your biological age to be. Now in June of 2024, when I was 60 and two months, it said here, you can see I'm I was 48, so 12 years younger. That's great, but not really that accurate, but better than nothing. Uh, the last time I took the test, which was in October, when I was 60 and six months, it reads 49 years of age. So this time around 11 years younger. So I'm four months older than the last time I did the questionnaire and my biological age has increased by one year. Um, not at, Obviously not as accurate as an algorithm that uses your blood markers. You can see also underneath my biological age, it gives you some very generic statements. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I agree, my breakfast is now sometime between one and three in the afternoon, which is my one meal of the day. They're talking about breakfast first thing in the morning, which is a sugary snack type breakfast. 
that is not good at all. Eat at least five servings of fruit and vegetables every day. Again, wise words, but probably not based in science. Uh, highly refined and deep fat foods are a sometimes treat and should only be eaten occasionally. Again, I agree with that 100%. And then do push-ups every day. Again, not particularly bad advice, but then why only sit-ups you can do, uh, sorry, why only uh, push-ups you can do, sit-ups you can do, air squats, etc. So that's it for biologicalage.com. So let's do a quick summary. At the time of this, my chronological age was 60 years and six months. Longevityadvantage.com had my DNA methylation or my biological age at 52.59 years. So that has me at seven years and five months younger. The less accurate but better than nothing biologicalage.com questionnaire had me at 49, which is 11 years younger. Now, I think we can all agree if you can get uh, a blood test done, then that DNA methylation test, the Horvath top clock type of test is going to be far more accurate. However, I would avoid companies like epiage.com who test against less than 20 markers and look for companies that test against hundreds of thousands of markers for a far more accurate gauge of your biological age, but also a far more cost effective option too. So let's take a look at my progress so far. You can see here in the table on the left, I've now done 11 of these biological age tests. The blue line in the graph represent my chronological age, and that will always continue to tick up as the years roll on. And my biological age here in the red is, this is what we're looking for, is lower than my chronological age. What we're not looking for is something like this, where your chronological age, in this case, is 61, but the biological age is 66. So your, your body's older than your birthdays would have you think. This is uh, this is the ideal. So this that's it for my uh, progress so far. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative. I think seven years and five months younger is pretty good. And the gap between my chronological and my biological age is staying apart now, which is what I'm looking for. If you've had a blood test done, then probably give Longevity Advantage a go if you, uh, if you want, nothing to lose. If you haven't had a blood test done and you do want an idea of your biological age, then look at biological age.com. If you've used one of these websites or if you've done a um, biological age test that you've sent your results off through the post, um, I would appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what your chronological age is and then what the results were of your biological age test.